Uh, so now let's look at the signal intensity on T1 and T2. So let's focus first on the center of the circles. We will discuss the periphery of the hematoma later. So starting with oxyhemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin, no unpaired electrons. So electrons are happy. No interest for dipole-dipole interaction. Um, the clot is water-rich with a little bit of protein secondary to the blood content, protein. So it is T1 iso-intense. Um, it exhibits no paramagnetic susceptibility since it is diamagnetic. It has uh, water in it, so the clot has increased T2 signal intensity. Iso, bright. Next, dioxyhemoglobin. Dioxyhemoglobin has four unpaired. It is paramagnetic. But because of the dome-shaped uh, him, there is no dipole diaper interaction, so it remains iso intense. Um, what about the T2 signal? The susceptibility inside the cell because of the paramagnetic dioxyhemoglobin is very much different from the susceptibility outside the cell, which contains. Um, water which is diamagnetic. So this difference is called the compartmentalization of compartmentalized gradient as we discussed earlier. Because of this compartmentalization, um, we see a T2 dark signal. So next, what about um, the early subacute? Methemoglobin paramagnetic Un, um, five unpaired uh, electrons. The hem is now planar shaped, allowing uh, dipole diaper interaction, which is non direct. Therefore, it becomes T1 bright. There is an intact cell wall, therefore, there is still presence of compartmentalization of the gradient. Therefore, T2 signal remains dark. When methemoglobin is now exposed to extracellular water, there is no longer uh, the cell wall is no longer there, so there is now direct dipole-dipole interaction. The T1 signal becomes more bright. The cell wall again is no longer there. There is no longer compartmentalization of susceptibility. Hence, T2 becomes bright. Next, uh, so ferritin and hemosiderin are super paramagnetic. These iron storage forms are paramagnetic but inaccessible to water. So it has no re relaxivity effects. So, no dipole dipole interaction, it becomes T1 dark. Um, these iron storage forms are also, also create local distortion of the signal, hence, becomes T2 